Papa, tell me. Tell me, Pipi. <laughs> you tell them. You tell them. Not get the house, obviously, because we put sixty-five thousand dollars less. Well, the house was worth four hundred, and we gave asking, and the people who got it um, gave sixty-five thousand dollars more. Above asking. About the market is right now. The market is just so bad. We, hold on. No. Oh, we I mean, offered asking and waived an inspection. Yeah. And they still were like, nope, not doing it. And, and it's like. House goes up in literally 48 hours, it's gone. Yeah, like some of them are not even on the market for a full day. It's quite insane. My parents are going to go on uh, four more tours with the realtor. So it could be that we put an offer in tomorrow. The one that I love, oh my gosh, you don't even understand. The one that I absolutely love um, is, what's it called? They said that it's closing Monday. I have no idea. Okay. There's a whole bunch of instances. Well, the one that I love, it's like a four bedroom. <laughs> And it has like a small little yard for the kids to be able to run around in. My chest is really itchy today. So that one I'm hoping we get. I'm going to update tomorrow. Um, this is going to be a process, obviously. Wish us luck. I feel like this angle is probably really bad. And hopefully I eventually get better at this whole like filming thing. But for now I suck at it. So here we are. Anyways, um, it is only 9 o'clock and usually we go to bed. Um, I mean, Matthew goes to bed around 9. I go to bed around like 1 a.m. But we are exhausted. Uh, the time difference is kind of kicking our butt because, like I said in earlier, I had to be up at like 4 or 5 a.m. for the showings this morning, and so did Matthew. So tomorrow's showings are, um, I think they're around like 10 a.m. our time. I have to go double check. So it's gonna be like a lot more comfortable, right? So I'm getting a, a formula bottle. I take like the whole container upstairs so that we don't have to come up and down when the baby needs, he just needs one bottle at this point or most of the time he sleeps through the night, but I always take it. Um, and then I'm taking these wonderful bags. Kiddo keeps having accidents at school. Uh, so. <laughs> Luckily, they're wrapped up, so that way it won't affect the baby bottle. Kiddo, whoa. Kiddo keeps having accidents at school, so I gotta do some laundry with Matthew tonight. Everything is still a mess. I think I showed it on TikTok, but uh, we're still selling stuff, getting ready for the move. So it's not the end of the world if the house is a mess because we are not always aesthetically pleasing queens, so it's fine. Can you tell the insane amount of laundry that I have to do? Like... Everything's full. Matthew and I have been trying really hard to do like a load a night and fold it. <sighs> Let's see how long that lasts because we suck at that. So I'm going to change the laundry over and then... <sighs> Let's see. Oh my god. This is so annoying. I hate laundry. Laundry's the freaking worst. Laundry. Don't you hate laundry? Because I hate laundry. Nasty thing that always has so much dog hair because my dogs. My toxic trait is that I never put bibs on my kids and look how their clothes turn out. So I've done a few videos on TikTok about this, but I rely very heavily on OxyClean to get these stains out. Hopefully. Hopefully this works, because otherwise that would suck. I never understand why my kids are so gross, dude. Oh, Disgusting. Disgusting. I swear to God. They're looking at the freaking cute. Now to empty out these nasty... These nasty, like accident bags that she comes home with Ugh. one of the best parts about us moving is the fact that we're gonna get a washer and dryer that's actually normal because these are military housing and they suck the worst um also i'm totally putting in borax um if you don't use borax what are you doing with your life because that's the only way i get stains out that and some good old oxy clean <laughs> Matthew 
Matthew's folding laundry right now. And I'm gonna get ready for bed because we have a very exciting long day tomorrow. Also my belly button post birth, that's so weird. This is so random, but like, boop. I think it's funny. <laughs> this is how I come in on Jaeger cuddling Matthew pretty much all the time. What, what you doing there, bud? Now there's yet another cuddle with dad session. <laughs> They're all so insane. I'm really excited about one specific house. Also, I'm wearing my retainer. My teeth are getting a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we're really excited about one specific house. So hopefully it works out and we have a good update. If not, this is a crappy vlog. Good morning, Bubba. Hey. Good morning. I just posted on TikTok. We're so excited. Kiddo is getting ready upstairs. And it's day two of house hunting. I don't know how long this is going to take. So I'll keep updating as I go. But um, today's showings are at nine-ish. Which means we didn't have to wake up at like 3 4 a.m to start getting ready so we're really excited and it's gonna be an amazing day i'm excited i have like one property that i want so badly you have no idea how bad i want it baby boy and i are cuddling look oh hi baba baby boy and i are cuddling sister just went to school um i've been kind of pushing matthew to take her Bubby, I can't hold you the entire time. I love bug. Okay. Amy, there we go. We hold hands. He just wants to be touching me all the time now. But anyways, sister went to school. And um, I've been... I've been making dad take her. Because he just, I feel like, needs to get out of the house post-surgery. He kind of wallows very easily. Oh, is it daddy? Daddy's coming home. Daddy coming home. Daddy coming home. Hi, Chuckabugga. Yay, it's almost house touring time. And this boy is going to go down for a nap. Jaeger is the one that's making the noise. So I'm going to quickly, quickly make us coffee, um, maybe breakfast. And then we're going to sit down to do the tours, hopefully, by then. Now I'm making breakfast. And what we always do is that we pull up the homes on our end while we do the virtual tour so that we, we can kind of pretend like we're there if that makes any sense and i am making myself breakfast mm. how much you want to bet matthew's gonna get annoyed with the way that i made coffee today hold on you trying my coffee no <laughs> i was right he made fun of my coffee and he didn't like it and won't drink it so no, i'll drink it I'm not oh you'll still drink it yes oh that's so nice <laughs> yeah you just saw the first house i am in love in love matthew what are your thoughts on it it doesn't have a pool it doesn't have a pool. He's right. Obviously, that would be really cool to have a pool. That's, like, way long term. But this house is beautiful. And there were multiple other people there that wanted it. So, we don't know if we're going to get it. I'm really hoping. We're looking at the, one of the addresses. And we just realized that it has, like, subway tile in the living room. Let me see a photo of it. It's a very blurry video. But look at all that subway tile. That was a very bad video. But it's subway tile flooring through the house but i mean you can change floor if it's like well below our price range then we have more than enough money to change the flooring i feel like no no i don't like the flooring but you can change flooring not the tile tiles a bitch to get up okay but that's why you pay to get a change if it's like oh let me just roll out my money bags <laughs> i mean if it's like fifty thousand dollars below our budget then we can spend a little bit chunk of that to change the flooring <sighs> If you're going to buy a $340,000 house and put $100,000 into it anyways. Tile does not cost $100,000, Matthew. I didn't Matthew. say that tile costs. You're, you're attacking this onto everything else. Okay, you are very dramatic. <laughs> Being Just did the next house, right? And my parents immediately were like, absolutely not. Because of the neighbor. To the well, first of all, when you come into the house, one of the houses is like flooded or something like that. So like Coral's dad is a contractor. So he knows what he's talking about when he looks at the houses. He walked in, walked out, and said there's flood damage. And immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, so that's like one house that we immediately took off our list. And then the next house, the one that they were just at, the neighbor, I think that there's no, 
I don't I don't know what it is, but the neighbor HOA, has like HOAs can't talk about what's inside your backyard. Yeah, but the backyard is like filled with literal trash, like so much trash. It like, looked like on the beginning sides. of like a hoarders episode. Yeah, so my mom was like, "Whoa, what's going on?" But like, maybe it's fine. You know, you don't really care what your neighbors are doing. But the floor is like completely messed up and needs to be repaired, which is not worth it. Buddy, what's you doing? Oh, handsome. Just saw number three. We are both not fans of it. The way that the house is shaped, it definitely can easily flood. So that's a hard no. Matthew's stalking the next one because the next one is his top choice because there is a fireplace and that's Matthew's like dream in life. Um, it's just pretty. It's all. <laughs> it's pretty, but you keep saying the fireplace though. The I, fireplace. I want a fireplace. I want a fireplace. I hate that in the East Coast area in this specific region, everything, every fireplace is on the base floor, on the bot, like basement. It doesn't make sense to me. My parents have a fireplace in their middle floor. I know. Most houses have it where everyone gathers. Why would you gather in the basement? I don't know. I feel like it's warm and cozy that way. But no one goes to the basement. You're making it into a playroom. <laughs> Look who's awake, baby Grinch. Baby Grinch. I'm breathing really heavy because I ran up the stairs to get him because he was fussing. But we just put two offers in on a house. So let's see if they're accepted. What is in your hair? Tears. <laughs> I have a very dramatic bubble boy. <laughs> Drama. Drama man. Drama. Yeah, he's dramatic. Um, Matthew's over here stressing. Wait, is it gonna focus? Is it focusing? No. <laughs> focus on the baby. You stressing? Well, he has a lot of money. Matthew is just hyperventilating in the corner no, right there. No, I'm not hyperventilating. Don't do that. I'm stressing because it's a lot of money. He's stressing. Okay. We gotta go feed this chunka. So we should find out, sorry, we should find out like Monday-ish. So check back in this week. Cause that's it, the everything's in, Bubba, right? We're excited. What you doing, B? What's Piper doing?